Hey, get a load of 10 exotic animals you can keep as pets. Do you want to be the center of everyone's attention as you're going for a morning stroll? You can try dressing up like a unicorn or simply getting yourself an exotic pet and becoming instantly popular. You can't possibly keep a unicorn as a pet, but a skunk, a fennec, or even a capybara could be all yours. What's a capybara? Well, you're about to find out. Now, it'll cost you quite a lot of money and effort to take care of one of those exotic creatures. But if you're ready to accept the challenges and responsibilities, pay attention to these important tips any exotic pet owner must follow. Now, before you start googling fennecs and capybaras <laughs> – sounds like an accounting firm, right? Hello, fennecs and capybaras, please hold. Take a second to subscribe to our channel to always be in the know about what's happening on the bright side of life. Ring the notification bell to be the first to get our awesome updates. Counting down from number 10. Capybara The capybara is a huge but very friendly rodent that can weigh up to 140 pounds. This intelligent animal can make friends with anyone and gets along well with cats, dogs, and birds. You can easily train your capybara, and it won't show any resistance or aggression. They quickly get used to walking on a leash and feel very comfortable as a pet. Sounds great, makes you want to get one, right? Well, here's an important note that's true for all exotic animals, not just capybaras. You should only buy exotic animals from professional breeders. Don't encourage the sale of wild animals. Capybaras lead a semi-aquatic life and rarely get any farther than a half a mile away from the water. A perfect place for a pet capybara is a pool in a large enclosure that's nice and warm in the winter. Capybaras thrive in a tropical climate, you know. While you'll be okay with a capybara as your fluffy friend, never get a red panda as an alternative to it. They need a highly specific diet to survive and are better off at the zoo. Remember that they're an endangered species, so you don't want to risk it, do you? Number 9. Fennec This mini fox is the size of a chihuahua, weighs no more than 3 pounds, and is getting more and more popular as a pet. The fennec is an extremely friendly creature that's full of energy. A cute feature of this animal is the wool pads on its paws, which save it from burning itself on hot sand in the wild. At first, this animal will need maximum attention for hand feeding, playing, and petting. Never yell at it or make sudden movements. It will also require a huge cage or a separate room covered with sand. They love to dig and make holes. In winter, you'll have to think about how to keep it warm, as fennecs can't stand low temperatures. This animal can quickly catch a cold and may die. Alternatively, the dune cat is no substitute to the fennec. Sure, it's cute and considered one of the easiest pets to keep out of all felines. However, these animals are accounted for, and keeping them at home is illegal in many countries. Number 8. Axolotl Hey, axolotl and we'll tell you a lot. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Despite being a popular domestic pet, the axolotl is on the verge of total extinction. Catching this amphibian in natural waters is prohibited, but it's okay to breed it at home. You have to understand one thing though, this is a huge responsibility and no easy task. If the conditions are not good enough, an axolotl will quickly fall ill and die. So if you're still up for it, you're going to need a large tank with water, at least 15 gallons of water for each axolotl, with a consistently comfortable temperature of 60 to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. You'll also need to perform regular cleanings of the aquarium. The axolotl is incompatible with any species of fish, snails, and frogs. If you can't guarantee that it will always be in cool water, it's better to give up the idea of keeping it as a pet. Now, the poisonous aga toad is also quite popular in home terrariums, and owners aren't afraid to hold it and pet it. However, these toads have a very strong poison. So if you have dogs, cats, or small children, it's better to choose another pet. Otherwise, your loved ones might die after playing with the aga. Number 7. Sugar Glider So, meet the sugar glider. You just smiled, didn't you? It's hard to resist looking into those eyes. Sugar gliders are incredibly affectionate and strongly attached to their owners and the animals they live with. 
Flying squirrels are non-aggressive, and they respond well to voice intonation and can be trained in simple commands. Since a sugar glider is a nocturnal animal, it might give you a hard time at night at first. When the flying squirrel makes a noise in its cage, it's calling you because it's bored and lonely. These are very social beings and are always in need of communication. The best option is to buy it a friend. Also, when installing a drinking bowl in the cage, you should teach your pet to use it. Otherwise, the animal may die of thirst. Now, in case you think bats are similar to sugar gliders, you are very wrong. Not only is it extremely difficult to find a common language with these animals, but it's also illegal to keep them as pets in many countries. Number 6. Janet No, not Janet. Janet. So, you decide to get a Janet. Before you do so, decide if you're ready for a long-term commitment. It sounds more like Janet, doesn't it? Janets really get attached to their homes. If you're still in, you'll have to learn to read its mood. If your pet is in a good mood, you can pet it and play with it, and it will give you an affectionate purr. When it's not quite so happy, it's better not to touch it, as the animal will be quite aggressive. Are you sure this isn't Janet? Despite its exotic looks, the Janet is unpretentious. Its main needs are regular feedings and a clean tray. Now, a meerkat is not an alternative to a genet. It's illegal to keep it as a pet in many countries. These animals are incredibly active and will never give you any peace, and your home will soon require a makeover. No oh boy! Number 5. Hedgehog These prickly cuties are winning the hearts of more and more people who get them as pets. Hedgehogs are good-natured and have an amazing ability to get used to home conditions quickly. Want to get a hedgehog as a pet? Well, you'll need to buy a cage and make a small shelter for the hedgehog. Don't let it wander around the house exploring all by itself, as it might get stuck in wires or become injured. Remember that hedgehogs are predators, and raw meat should be the core of their diet. If you think you can handle a gerboa just like a hedgehog, you're wrong. Unless you live in Africa. It's a wild and aggressive rodent that will never get used to people and will try to escape at every opportunity. Number 4. Electric Blue Crayfish If you want to really surprise everyone with your pet, then you should get a crayfish. Not just any kind of crayfish, of course. Go for an electric blue one. You won't be able to take this surreal beauty for a walk or train it to follow your commands. But it'll surely become a bright spot in your home. All this blue gorgeousness needs is a clean water, a large aquarium, and a place to hide in there. Speaking of exotic beauties that transform any space into a fairy tale setting, listen up, Harry Potter fans! Any of you out there? Give this video a thumbs up to let us know! Now, sadly, you can't keep Hedwig as a pet. The white owl, although not on the list of endangered animals, is nonetheless banned as a pet in many countries. This predator is not meant to live with people. Number 3. Kinkajou Meet the Kinkajou, a cute little mix of a monkey and a bear that's a really popular pet in Brazil. Not only is it lovable, it also loves its owner's back and enjoys cuddles. The Kinkajou is curious and loves following its owner wherever they go, hanging off their shoulders and sitting on their lap. They really don't make any trouble and easily adapt to a new home. These animals need a warm climate, so if you live up north or in a moderately cold climate, getting a kinkajou might not be the best idea. Also, you can't keep two of these animals at the same time. You can't leave the creature unattended at your house either. Be sure to lock it in its cage while you're out. Now, Even though they kind of look alike, the kinkajou and the koala are two very different things when it comes to keeping them as pets. Koalas are an endangered species, and the Australian government imposes serious restrictions on exports and keeping them as pets. Number 2. Fox Ah, uh, can you resist the charm of this forest beauty? No? Well, in that case, you may be wondering if you can take him home. The truth is that not all kinds of foxes belong in your house. Remember that a domestic fox can be a pet, but a domesticated one is a different thing. The difference between these two species is that the pet or domestic fox 
is one that was bred specially for keeping at home. They undergo a strict selection process. A domesticated fox is one that was brought from the forest to the home. Foxes have quite a specific character. They are devoted but independent and very curious, trustful, and playful. Finding a common language with this pet will take a long time, so you have to be patient. It'll be easy for the fox to get used to your house if you already have some other pets. Walk your fox on a leash and watch it closely. The animal can swallow a piece of glass or other dangerous objects. Foxes like to hide, so you need to create a den for it. Many dishonest breeders sell puppies of domesticated foxes as domestic ones at a lower price. Trying to save money in this way will not end well. Sooner or later, the animal will show its instincts and begin to attack others, scream at night, and try to break away like crazy. And, of course, never bring an ordinary wild fox into your home for your safety and the safety of your loved ones. Number 1. Skunk <laughs> It might be hard for you to imagine a skunk as a pet. However, they're pretty popular pets in the US. Skunks are affectionate and very loyal, much like dogs. A tame skunk doesn't use its fetid weapons at home. The main thing is to regularly comb out the animal and trim its claws. If you can keep a skunk as a pet, what could possibly be bad about a raccoon? They are extremely popular as pets worldwide. However, breeders don't recommend getting a raccoon unless you're a professional with plenty of knowledge about handling wild animals. These cunning and quick animals will turn your house into ruins the second you turn away from them. Not everyone has the patience and strength to tame this creature. Well, would you want to have an exotic animal as a pet? Or do you think they belong in the wild? Hey, how about Janet? Tell us in the comments below. Don't forget to give us a like and click subscribe to stay on the bright side of life.